So let's do another beam reaction problem. This is similar to the last one, except this time we have three different loads. So the answer won't be quite as intuitive. Um, if I look at this, it looks like it's going to be relatively balanced. We have three kips, three feet from the left end, and two, four, two, two kip loads um, near the right end. So the first thing we want to do is we want to draw a free body diagram. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the two supports with their um, proper reactions. So for instance, the left side is a pin. We have get a vertical and a horizontal reaction there. And I'm going to sim simplify a little bit. We'll just call this one RL and RH. And the right one is a roller, so it's free to move back and forth, so it only gets a vertical reaction. And let's call this one R, R. Now, remember, we'll start off with our three equations of equilibrium. Sum of the forces in the x direction equals zero. Sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero. And the sum of the moments about all points equals zero. And we'll look at this beam. And again, what we find is the first one's pretty easy to do sum of the forces in the x direction equals zero to the right being positive. The only one we get is RH. And this is what we're going to find with most of our beam problems, is the horizontal reaction is going to equal zero. So RH equals zero. We can almost find that just by inspection. Just, there's only one force. It's going to be zero. The next one is to decide whether to use the sum of the forces in the y direction or the sum of the moments. I recommend using the sum of the moments next because it allows us to um, take some of these unknowns out of the equation. So I'm going to say the sum of the moments about some point counterclockwise has to equal zero. Now the question is what point? I'm going to suggest we take the left end again call it A this time because then the moment of RL and the moment of RH about point A are equal to zero because their distance away from A is zero. So let's do it down here so we have a little bit more room. Counterclockwise is positive. The sum of the moments about point A are equal to zero. And let's be explicit again. Let's use RH times zero feet plus RL times zero feet. And once you've done a few of these problems, you can skip these two, because we know that those are both going to be zero kip feet. And then go left to right. So we start off with the three kips. And how far away is the three kips from point A? Three feet. And we have to ask ourselves, is that positive or negative? So about point A, 3 is going this way. Okay, so spin around, which is going to be negative. So we get a negative in front of that. Then we get a 2 kips times 11 feet. Again, that's going to be negative because it's spinning this way, as will this one, will give us a negative moment. We get another two kips. This one's going to be at 14 feet. And we said that would be negative. And then finally we get R, R at 16 feet. Again, ask ourselves, is RR going to give us a positive or a negative moment about point A? We're going that way. So that is positive. So we get a plus. And you're going to find that when we're summing about one end, the, lo the loads are going to give one sign, and the forces are going to give another sign. So let's do the math here. We get minus 9 kip feet minus 22 kip feet minus 28 kip feet plus 16 times RR and that has to all sum 
to 0. So we get minus 59 kip feet plus 16 RR is equal to 0, or RR is equal to 59 kip feet divided by 16 feet is equal to 3.69 kips. Now we can use our sum of the forces in the y direction equals 0. Up being positive, we get RL minus 3 kips minus 2 kips minus 2 kips plus RR so RL is equal to, of course we know RR is 3.69, so we get 7 kips minus 3.69 kips, and that's equal to 3.31 kips. So RR is 3.69 kips, RL is 3.69 one kips. Now one way that you could check your answer is we could redo the sum of the moments about say another point, point B, and show that they still balance out.